hello all welcome to iq pop here is the iq pop get videos so this is a question from uh, dbms and uh, it was came in get 2013 consider the following relational schema the schema is given like this students it is having attribute roll number and its name the student name courses course number and course name and registration roll number course number and percent that is the percent of marks scored by the scored by a student okay the schema is given so which of the following queries are equivalent to this query in english so what is the query find the distinct name of which student who scored more than 90% in the course number 107 that means we have to find out uh, list of unique names of students who have scored 90% marks or more than 90% marks in course number 107 so what are the options are there not option what are the possible queries are given there so first query is given select distinct age dot name from student as is registration as r where r dot roll number equal to age dot roll number and r dot course number equal to 107 and r dot percent get at the 90 so this is simple sql query you can see second query is given here that is a relational algebra query pi s name sigma course number equal to 107 and percent get at the 90 over registration cross students third query is given it is a triple relational calculus you can see t says that there exist a is uh, which is uh, belongs to students and there exist r belongs to registration and in bracket s dot roll number equal to r dot roll number and r dot course number equal to 107 and r dot percent equal to 90 and t dot s name equal to s dot s name okay uh, another query is given that is domain relational calculus <coughs> sn such that there exist sr and there exist uh, rp sr and sn belongs to student and sr107 that is subject number and rp belongs to registration and rp greater than 90 so these four queries are given and we have to show that which of these queries are equivalent to the given statement right this statement so option a is 1 2 3 and 4 and that means all the query does the same number or option b is first second and third query number c is first second and fourth query and number d is second third and fourth query so let's see the sql query you can see here select distinct the distinct means it will select the unique name from s dot name right s dot name from student so from student it is going to select the distinct name as s and registration as r where r dot roll number equal to s dot roll number so this is a join operation and r dot course number equal to 107 and r dot percent greater than 90 so did this join operation you can say we can say that it is going to find out all the student name uh, who are having the course number 107 as well they have scored percentage of in the scores greater than 90 and as we are using distinct here it will show as the distinct name right so this is equivalent to the given english query now the next option is uh, next query is relational algebra expression so pi s name right sigma course number equal to 107 and percent get at the 90 over registration into student so here you can see this is join operation or uh, this is a cross join operation right so over so after over this join we are selecting this course number and 
squared, the percent is greater than 90, so it is <laughs> going to give us the correct result. And pi always returns the unique names, so it, will, it is also going to give us the um, same result as the given English query. The third one is tuple relational calculus. T is the set of tuple says that is a set of student belongs to student and there exists R which is belongs to registration right now S dot roll number equal to R dot roll number this join operation is going to happen here and R dot uh, course number equal to 7 and R dot percent greater than 90 and t dot rest name equal to s rest name now one thing is there that uh, uh, this uh, operation right uh, this uh, t okay, will always return uh, unique names and we have the right this uh, join operation here and we are also selecting R dot course number equal to this and percent greater than this, right? So you can see that this is equivalent to the first query. You can easily understand by comparing the, these two, right? So it is also going to give us the same result as given in the English query. So this is also true. And for it is domain relational calculus. So SN is a domain that says that there exist SR and RP, okay? So, SR and RP here belongs to student and uh, from the other table it is coming right. SR and that is roll number of student, no? subject number and percent of marks belongs to registration table. And where we are selecting only those which are you know, percent of marks is greater than 90. So, it is also going to be the same. <laughs> so all four given queries are going to do the same thing as given in the uh, question. So answer is A. Thank you for watching. Like, share and subscribe.